Some really inopportune timing there. Laxing's gonna be able to get up cash stairs because of it. The cross is not being covered, and because of that, Thomas will be able to get over there. But Laxing absolutely on fire in a one versus one. He's gonna pick up his teammate, but below, Doodle has the impact, and it's poorly timed, perfectly wow. timed, in fact. From below, a double impact kill, and Doodle will salvage the round. Oh no, reciprocity. How often do you see a double impact kill? Probably never. close to never, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fire into one! Red Groove so close to downing the next. A Blast will be dropped here by Renault's double kill for him, as both Plas and Crunch were so busy. Renault's with a third one on the Hungry. The triple the quad from Renault's is probably screaming in his keyboard right now. Renault's very well known for his energy with chaos on land and online. I don't think that gets dropped. The whole time we saw him. Use the second floor to his advantage. Vaults on over, and what a shot that is from Gotcha. He's not on Valkyrie this time, but that's a hell of a shot to make, and Thomas was not expecting that one at all. So just to be really clear, Gotcha is, at, yes, the coach for Evil Geniuses, and he has, I, I think we can, it's safe to say he did, he's done a lot for that team. Uh, do you mean from an outside perspective? He's a, he seems to be a really good coach. He's also a good player, and I think that's part of what makes him uh, a good coach. Now, is he a really good pro league player? I'm not sure. I mean, you'd have to see him play in pro league in a longer term. But is he a you know actual somebody who can be confident here? Heck yes! As he comes from behind and takes down Doodle, looking for another, and he's gonna get it. Pixel goes down, and that's three for Gotcha in the round. Rexing gets the diffuser plant, but it looks like Luminosity are trapped in a corner. It will it be four? Yes. Gotcha with four, Necrox with the last, and evil geniuses, a flawless half. Oi. Give him the disable. There he is, he deserves it. Give him the disable and then move on in a celebration with the team skin on a coach! You, a coach, exclaims you, Troy. You guys, you guys shouldn't be terribly surprised. I go, I'm telling you. And pre-fired a pawn and nearly even exchanged there, but Mighty uh, does come out underneath. Pre-fired from Astro there is going to finally finish off the buck, and there you go. Base plan in great position right now. C4 comes out to damage, no kill. The Montaigne, because he looks the wrong way. That reduction on the damage from the explosive only happens when the C4 is on the other side of the shield. Yeah, I think there's nobody over there, and Mav will likely realize that and begin to push on up through the door before he can even hit it once. It's the third kill for Astro as he's looking for all of them. He has the diffuser down too. Commander doesn't have a ton of bullets in its magazine. He'll look for number four, he'll find it. Oh, Astro's warming up. Where's the last one? Every kill for Astro and the ace on the board. He makes it look easy. Very quick work. Nobody from Red Devil is able to find the scoreboard on that one and off the backs of that ace, FaZe Clan will find themselves with a two round lead. Getting some tracking pretty They here. literally do the same thing every single round. Katasheka will find one kill and joystick to head. Jonas eliminated. Looks like your predictions are about to come true, Devin. Oh, and here's another for Joystick as he flicks on to Shate. I don't know why they keep up this. Oh, wrong play! What are you doing? He's gonna walk down the stairs of death. And another one! Oh, oh. Joystick, the flawless round! He just kept walking. What? Kept, it was a shooting gallery. <laughs> But great round of T-Hunt. That was, yeah, that was a T-Hunt round. Of, of, Laxing and Nyx fall. BC comes to the rescue. Toxic Canister's gonna hit, hit Mint directly on, and down goes Hyper. Disguise, oh, oh, beautiful shot from Skies. Oh, and three what? for Skies. How is he pulling this off? It's all up to Hot and Cold to try to clutch. This is gonna be a real challenge. Waiting to see if he's gonna get peaked, and it's Skies all the way down. What a performance from Skies and Wreck. We'll take the round. I was about to start talking about how reciprocity reinforced the office wall. Which Off for just a moment. Flash into the smoke of PX as he stays in the back and takes no damage. It's not Flash, but it's a one-to-one -one trade. Bullet and Lucid coming in for one of their own. Lucid turning around to the angle and spots the Maestro, eliminates him. Shotgun in hand, he finds another one. That's a triple kill. It's a 1v1. Novi's low on HP. Novi's team is very close to clutching this. He sprays all through the wall and Lucid! He clutches it and team one! They get the kill, they get the round, and they get the three points at the end of the day. Oh my god, it was a bullet away. Taken away. No more worry about the Yokai. 
And Moringa has lost the life. He's got impact grenades, but I'm not sure how those Pokeballs will save him. At the end of the day, he drops two kills. The shotgun now in hand. Diffuser still needs to be ferried down. The Habana taken away. Moringa looking for all five. See if Black Dragons are ready for this. Moringa definitely is. Shotgun in hand, and he knows that there's a player close up to him. He finds him. Life is down on the floor. Moringa, last on in. Smoke in the back. Damage being taken here by Hugsword. No, he's going to turn around the corner. Goes in for the fire, and Hugsword! Oh. oh, saves the day for Black Dragons! I'm not going to lie. I wanted him to make that ace clutch. That was the effort of all efforts. To take it from a 1v5 to a 1v1. But unfortunately, the angle just makes it a bit too difficult for him to spot. The Diffuser will get set. Pengu knows where all this fire is coming from. He drops down, but no, a bit too slow on the return. Gregorv is one, he gets two kills. And that's a 3k for him. Can he get the fourth? Cantor Ketty's already upstairs. A lot of fire down into Redgrove, and there's not much that he can do. He still has the Nitro Cell to chuck. Can he find it? The kill comes out. Yes. Redgrove, he clutches it. Cantor Ketty going down. I cannot believe it. The 4k from Redgrove. He can play whatever offer you need, and he'll make sure you get the run at the end of it. The man single handedly wins it all. Well, just two players up for Fnatic, completely salvageable. Now just one, Virtue, the last man standing on this flank. We know him to be an incredibly strong fragger, but he has to play this perfectly. Plant likely to go down from Nazgul, but Virtue could still win it in a post. Rounding this next corner, he'll get two kills for free! But the Diffuser goes down on the ground. It's a one versus two retake for Virtue now. Just two players left. He has some information, but he's gonna keep playing this. Oh, the PK! That's a triple kill for Virtue. Just one left. Jam and Virtue. Jam has the ACOG in this long range encounter, but we know Virtue, he's just so good. Jam has to play this perfectly and patiently. Exposed position, Virtue wants to wide peek this. He's baiting it with the shoulder peek. He lands the shot! That's an insane play of one versus four retake on the post plant. That's Virtue, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to ANZ. Well, looks like there is a new Virtue in town clutch. He's expecting somebody to push up. He'll shred through one, look for two, but he can't hit the Hibana. Down below is Hyper. He'll find one, look for another. Oh, and he gets the down, but he's all on his lonesome. Tossing up the C4, wait for it. He looks for the last, and it's Hyper with three huge kills. Dark Zero, up three to one. What a performance. Hits the Nitro Cell with one hand, the Deagle with the other.